Okay, so I know I'm back pretty quickly with another fragrance video, which I know is not normally my whole minimalism theme on my channel, so I apologize for that for those of you who are here strictly for the kind of simplicity lifestyle um, house stuff, and I feel like I've been stuck in my bedroom a lot doing these videos, but I received in the mail today a couple of travel-sized um, perfumes that I had ordered to try out from Sephora, as well as a couple of little samples that they sent me as well, and I thought it would be kind of fun to do like a first impression of some of these scents. There is about four of them, and I'm not going to list the notes off. I will put them on the screen for you, but for me, I find sometimes um, notes can be a little bit deceiving. That was the case with one of the fragrances I ordered. It turned out to be nothing like what I thought it was going to be, but I will try to make this video very short, and I'm just going to tell you kind of my first impressions, what they smell like to me, um, what I would wear them for, and that kind of thing, and yeah, without further ado, let's get right on into it. The first one that I will tell you about is this one here, which is Pure Grace from Philosophy. I got this one because I was asking for advice about a fresh, clean, kind of soapy, fresh out of the shower smell and this is the one that many people recommended to me um, so this is actually a very simple fragrance I think there's like four notes in it one of them is lavender there's a musk um, I can't remember what the other notes are but anyways I'm just gonna give it a smell here to remind myself yeah so this fragrance literally smells like fresh clean linen in a hotel it kind of smells like laundry detergent but more than anything when I smell it I just get such a clear vision in my mind of like freshly cleaned hotel room. That's what it smells like. It's not something I would put on for like a sexy evening or even like a daytime. This is something I would wear like to the gym or something I would spray on my bed sheets or something I would put over my work uniform before I went to work. I do work in a healthcare environment. We're not really allowed to wear fragrances, but I feel like this is one you could get away with. So if you guys are looking for something that literally just smells like clean bed linen, um, this is a really good one to go for. The second one that I got for the same reason, I was looking for something kind of clean, fresh, soapy, fresh out of the shower, really inoffensive, is this Clean Skin by Clean Reserve. Um, but this one is also another very non-complex fragrance. I think it has about four notes as well. One of them is a leather, one of them is musk. Um, I'll put them on the screen for you. I can't quite remember. Um, but this, oh, I think this has praline in it as well. So it does have a little bit of a sweeter note to it, but it is not a strong scent whatsoever. It's really soft and really unoffensive. This one I actually like better than the um, Pure Grace. It does smell a little bit softer and it's a little bit more wearable. It's something that I would wear in the evening, getting out of the shower, crawling into bed at night. You're not going to impress anybody with this. It's just a really soft, clean, nice skin scent. The other thing that I'll say about this one is this one is quite a soft, close to the skin scent. You have to get pretty, pretty close to smell it. I have, I can't smell it on myself unless I really put my nose right up to my skin. Whereas the Pure Grace one, this one has pretty good strength. I think the lavender in it is probably what gives it that. This one is definitely a lot stronger. Super nice, super soft. This one here is the Princess by Killian. Um, this is the first Killian scent I've ever smelled, so forgive me for being kind of naive, but um, yeah, this is the first one I've ever smelled, and it smells okay. This one is a really sweet, kind of a gourmand, evening, darker, kind of a sultry scent. It is nice, but I wouldn't pay the price that I know it costs. I think it's a pretty pricey perfume, as with many of the Killians. That being said, I would like to smell some of the other Killians. This one has a note of marshmallow in it, and it's quite reminiscent of like celebrity fragrances almost. Like it almost reminds me a little bit of Ariana Grande's Cloud, but it's not a bad fragrance. I'm probably gonna give this to a friend. The other one that they sent me is a sample of Guerlain's Aqua Allegoria line, and this is the Peregranita. This is actually a really nice, fresh, fruity, kind of a citrusy scent. I'm not really into fresh citrusy scents. I don't wear a lot of them. I'm just not into those. They give me a bit of a headache and they're just too fresh for me. I really prefer like more of the florals, orientals, vanilla, musky, patchouli kind of scents. That being said, this one is really nice. I sprayed it on paper and it was lovely to smell. It smells just like a fresh citrusy kind of a, a drink or something, but mixed with some nice florals. And then it has a really nice soft musk base. So if I was into the fresh citrusy kind of perfumes, I would definitely get this in my collection. The bottles are gorgeous. I'll put a picture of the bottle on the screen for you so you can see. Um, but I really love the Guerlain B bottles. If you know what I'm talking about, they're so pretty. So I'm kind of just exploring the different types of fragrances they have because I really want 
one of those bottles in my collection at some point. So let's talk about one that I got that I'm really kind of disappointed in. This is the Cleopatra by Toka or Taka. I hope that I'm pronouncing that correctly. This is the first Toka scent that I have smelt. Um, I did a lot of research on the notes because I knew that these were kind of brighter, fresher florals. And as I said, I'm not really into the super, super fresh garden-like type of scents. This one had really good reviews and the notes made it sound like it would be something pleasant that I would enjoy wearing. That being said, sometimes you learn things the hard way and I did find out that I really don't like the note of cassis or casis. Um, I will put the notes on the screen for you. So this little bottle which I think is I think this is a 20 ml bottle. I got it from Sephora for $60. Unfortunately I did spend a lot more money on this little guy than I would have liked. I far more would have rather got a Tom Ford or something like that in hindsight. The box that it came in is really cute. It came in this absolutely gorgeous, kind of antique looking, really feminine, um, regal looking kind of a box. It actually has a magnetized top on it. It's really well done. It says that it has grapefruit and fresh greens that fade into white jasmine and vanilla musk. Unfortunately, this fragrance would have been absolutely delicious if it weren't for that one note of cassis. If you guys aren't familiar, cassis is kind of a sour, bitter, animalic kind of a note that has the um, this the scent of cat urine. Literally, that's how Fragrantica describes it. Apparently, I didn't read enough into the notes before I ordered this because I really don't like the smell of cat pee. That's what this smells like. When I first spray it, I get such a heavy dose of that really unpleasant, sour, ammonia type of smell. And as it starts to dry down, I get a little bit of the jasmine and a little bit of the vanilla and it keeps on trying to peek out and it keeps on trying to give me something wearable and something pleasant and it just can't get past that note of cassis. It's just there. Why they put it in here, I have no idea. It is not pleasant. I don't know who on earth can wear this. Um, it gets pretty good reviews though. If you guys have any recommendations of a better Toka fragrance, I would be really appreciative. So I just actually went and made myself a cup of coffee. You guys know I really like coffee when I'm doing these reviews. And I had sprayed some of this on my hand and just kind of gave it like 15 minutes to settle just to see if I could in any way like it. And if you could get past, if you could look at that Casa smell or that Casa smell as more of a green note, which is what it is, if you could look at it in terms of a green plant instead of cat urine this would be tolerable but it, but it could it wouldn't be totally offensive if I didn't know that that note smelled like cat pee so anyway that's all I have to say about the Toka Cleopatra um, if you guys like Cassis if you've tried Cassis and you know that you like it it would be a winner okay so I have two fragrances left this one and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna butcher the pronunciation this is Atelier Cologne and this is the Vigny Incense did I say that properly? This has been really, really widely, positively reviewed all over the internet. The notes sounded incredible. It sounded like a really, really nice woody vanilla, and so I just had to try it. So I just got a little travel size one, which is what I like to do before committing to a big bottle, if at all possible. Usually I try to get a 30 ml, because for the amount of perfume I have and how long it takes me to go through them, I just don't need full sizes. But this is one you could definitely buy a full size of and be very, very happy with your purchase. Oh, this smells like woody, I was going to say woody woods, <laughs> doesn't make any sense. It smells like a forest but enveloped with vanilla. It smells like woods and vanilla. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is a warm, kind of a fireplace, cozy evening kind of a smell. Um, if you guys saw my other video and you remember, I told you about Blondine by Versailles how this one is kind of like a warm, cozy evening scent. This would be like the leather version of that because this is super heavy, heavy leather. Um, and it also has quite a few gourmand notes in it. But this, on the other hand, would be like the woody version without the buttery, salty kind of gourmand notes. It is so stunning. It's not something I would classify as being particularly sexy, but it would be a really nice evening, winter, fall scent. Um, and maybe some people would find it sexy. I don't know. It's one that you'd have to wear and kind of see how people reacted around you. Um, but it's just absolutely beautiful. It smells so nice. Uh, for me, it's honestly more nostalgic than anything because to be honest, the very first thing it reminded me of was being in a forest in the Rocky Mountains. When I was a younger girl, 
Um, my dad used to take my brother and I, and he's since passed away, but he used to take my brother and I camping all the time. And this just smells so woody and so natural and just like, just like woods. I'll put the notes on the screen for you. If you haven't smelled the Atelier Cologne, uh, Vigny Incense, you have to try it. It is really beautiful. Okay, and the last one is one by Tom Ford. This one I already had a small decant of. I told you guys about this in my last video. It was the Noir de Noir, and this is just a 10 mil travel size. The lid is actually, um, the lid is actually magnetized. So it's quite uh, heavy duty and quite well done. Um, it's a good thing that it's also opaque because it will actually protect the scent. Um, Tom Ford just does a really nice job of his fragrances. So this one I described for you guys yesterday and I will put the notes up on the screen, but this is essentially just a really deep gourmand, smoky evening scent. It's marketed toward men primarily, but this is definitely safe for unisex because it's also quite sweet. It has saffron, it has patchouli I believe. I can't remember all of the other, I think it has oud actually this has oud in it as well so it's definitely a bit of a more deep dark warm spicy kind of an oriental scent and i really love it yeah this is the kind of scent i would like to wear on a date in the right occasion in the right atmosphere but also this is one i would like to smell on a man as well so take that for what you will but yeah this is a really nice one if you haven't smelt noir de noir by tom ford i definitely recommend that one so the Noir de Noir is the type of scent that I was telling you guys in my last video that I'm trying to get away from the mainstream type of black opium evening sexy scents and try to curate my collection and have more of the niche, a little bit more high-end, unique stuff that not everybody is wearing type of scents. So I'm really happy to have the Tom Ford, even if it's only a 10 mil. Tom Ford's outrageously expensive, but also, like I said, for the amount that I wear perfume, which isn't often because I work in healthcare, I'm not even allowed to wear perfume on a daily basis. So when I do wear it, it's quite special for me, um, but that makes it all the more interesting to me and all the more exciting to have really nice fragrances because they are such a treat. It's not like I just get to douse myself every single day in perfume. Anyways, I'm really happy to have the Tom Ford. I think that this was a pretty good little mini haul and not a very expensive one either. Um, these little travel size ones were only about $40, so that's pretty affordable. Um, with the exception of the uh, the toka. I'm pretty happy with everything that I received today. So that's it for today's video. Super straightforward and to the point. I hope that everybody enjoyed and I hope you have a great day. Bye.